Hi guys, my name is Ivan Chuk, and today I got top 32 at the uh, Remote Duel SES playing Invoke Dogmatica DP. Um, I went 9 1 in Swiss and I was 7th uh, at, at the standings, and then I obviously went into top 32, and sadly I lost. It is what it is, just gotta do better next time. Um, yeah, as I said, I played Dogmatica Invoke DP. The reason why I chose this deck was because it played 12 hand traps and every card, every engine card was a one card play, unlike most decks in the meta currently, where they require two cards to even start playing the game, which was something really appealing to me, which means that you have better top decks and that you can fit more utility uh, cards and just utility stuff in general. So yeah, basically the reason why I chose the deck. Um, I think it was the best choice for the event, even looking back. I just, um, yeah, in top 32 I rolled a bad matchup, and my only loss in Swiss was the mirror match. So, yeah. If I could do it all again, I would pick the same deck, yes. So let's get started. Uh, for the hand traps, I played 12. I played Triple Nibiru, Triple, An Triple Ancia, Triple Ash Blossom, and Triple Impermanence. Um, I think the only thing that stands out here really is the Lancia in the main deck and maybe the Ashes since they dropped off. Um, but the Ashes, I expected it to be a long Swiss tournament and I expect a lot of random decks. So in such a scenario, Ash is always going to be good. It's always going to be live even versus most meta decks. Uh, as for the Lancia, I, it was just a meta call. I expected the Mirror Match actually to be the most represented deck. Um, and after that, PK, Sword, Soul, and Birds. And versus all of those decks, I just believe that this card is better than Droplet. Because it's a one-card play, and you always basically know what you're dealing with. And most uh, meta decks these days play around Droplets. Birds have their oath. Um, PKs have two ways to, or well, two side pops, so they can trigger it twice. So... I didn't really enjoy Droplet, and I just found this card much better as a single Reliance as a hand trap, so that's why I played it. Uh, shout out to Ryan and Herman. Herman was the one who originally pitched the idea, and then Ryan suggested it again, and yeah, I went with it. So going to the main deck monsters, um, this is very standard. I played Triple Alistair, Triple Ecclesia, Maximus Flare. Uh, Celestial and Dasher. Yeah, this is. You shouldn't touch any of this. Uh, you need all of these at these ratios because they're all plays, they're all starters. Even Maximus is a one card play. Flare really isn't really, but you can flare plus hand trap into DP. So, not even like even drawing it isn't even like that bad anymore. So, yeah. The rest, obviously, you need. Moving on to the spells. Um, for the 13 standard spells, I guess you could say. Meltdown, Nadir, Destiny, Prosperity, and Terraforming. All of these are standard. You probably need to play all of these. The only one that's swappable or that you don't need to play is Prosperity. You can play Small World instead of Prosperity, which is totally fine. It gets you to your starters. It gets you to engine more often. I just prefer Prosperity since you can hit uh, Go Second card. It just goes second better. So, yeah. That's why I play Prosperity. And then all of the rest of this is standard. You need all of these at these ratios. You can't really play less. And then for the other spells, uh, to Invo, Call By, and Harpies. Uh, my deck was 41 cards. So my 41st card was actually the second invocation. I didn't really find the second invocation needed. But I ended up playing it because I just figured that there would be a very large amount of mirror matches and grindy matchups. And in those kinds of scenarios, its second invocation really comes up. Like, yeah, that's just that was just basically the primary reason. I don't really enjoy the second invo otherwise, but it was really good. And I'd probably stick with it going forwards. But yeah, this was my 41st card. And then... Harpies in the main deck. Um, mine was really popular, as we could see from the LCSs and other events going on in Europe and America. 
So I just wanted a main deck of Ballout to mine, so I don't randomly lose game ones. Not to mention that game ones versus Road Troll, when they go Chijao Barone and they set like three cards, and you see this, you just instantly win because Chijao Barone isn't really a board. So yeah, Harpies was very good. And to finish it off, I played Shizum and Punishment, which is, again, standard, expected. Moving on to the side deck. Uh, for the, I played more hand traps because I wanted wider coverage post side and I wanted to see more of them. So I played Gamma, Gamma Package, Crow, and Droll. Uh, gamma Package because it's the m most versatile hand trap out of all of them. It just hits every deck without fail. Very good card. Uh, DD Crow because I wanted. Uh, just something for Sky Striker matchup and a bit more for PK and mirror match. And any deck that just random deck that just plays DP, I don't know, or even Eldritch. So Crow was rather good. And Drill and Lock because Drill and Lock is just very good this format. And it FTKs birds. And for the spells, two Lightning Storms. Uh, I want to just do more back row cards with the Harpies. So. Lightning Storm went in. Um, yeah, you side you side this versus back row decks and like st stuff like Striker and Sword Soul, because the versus Sword Soul even you don't really want Cosmics, because if you Cosmic, uh, for example, they flip Anti Spell and Standby. Even if you Cosmic them, they're still going to Baron and negate the Cosmic. So you just have to, if it happens, you just have to take the loss, and you just have to hold Lightning Storm. And that's just yeah what you have to do. Not much more to say there. Uh, and for the traps, I played three. There can be only one. Yeah, this was just something to go first. But again, uh, then I decided it once and I saw it and it was good. But other than that, I didn't really, I didn't really go first post side. So yeah. Uh, as for the extra deck. Charmander token, and then Verte, Garden and Almirage, standard, double Nekaba, Ogoides, Brigatrio, Raijin, standard. I don't think you have to say anything there, you have to play all of these. Binda, Apka, Construct, Shadow Package, again, standard, uh, DP, Titanic Lad, and Tests. The last fusions. This is obviously like the most broken card in the game right now. This card is actually so nuts. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. This card is. I don't know what Kanani was thinking. And then Omega. Uh, Omega was my last slot. It wasn't there as a Gamma Driver summoning thing. It was there to send it from the Deer or from Maximus, uh, permanently grind and return resources, or just. Uh, Shuffle back stuff from the graveyard. For example, in the mirror match, you can shuffle back their DP versus Striker. You can shuffle back their DP. So this was very strong. This is probably like my most used card in the, of the weekend. It just came up every single time. Totally amazing card. I would definitely play it again. And that's it. Uh, 15 extra, 15 side, 41 main deck. And yeah, uh, now I would like to do some shoutouts. So obviously, shout out to my team, Frozen Card Gaming. Please check out our sponsors in the description below. Shout out to everyone that followed my journey along in the 31 server. Obviously, you guys know who you are. I don't have to shout you out more. Shout out to Store. Shout out to the Barber Shop. Shout out to the Creation Yu Gi Oh! community. Shout out to Giovanni Zerbo. <laughs> and a big shout out to Dimi, Ryan, Peter, Satans, Herman, and Toast for helping me discuss theory and prepare for the event and just, yeah, helping me in general. Love all of you guys. And yeah, that concludes the deck profile. Looking forward to Utrecht, if hopefully if it happens. I think that this is the best deck for the format. It just has so many utility tools and so many ways to just do everything you needed to do, basically. And I love this style of deck. So yeah, should be really good for Utrecht. And yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.